Indeed, lads. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I got for you guys a 500k squad builder that is very, very meta. Currently in the game of FIFA 22, with the market dropping, it's a perfect time to build a squad before team of the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this right away, go through each player one by one in this formation for chemistry purposes only, and then I'll show you guys the formation and tactics that I recommend with this squad later on before we hop into a game to see just how good this squad really is. So make sure to stay for that. Let's go. Starting off in the keeper position, guys, a French lad from the Premier League. Hugo Lloris, guys, what a card he is. Very underrated this year, I'm going to be honest. He's very quick off the line with the 61 speed on just his gold card, and he pulls off those crazy saves that you're looking for in-game. In the left-back position, a German lad from BVB, Nico Schultz, foot versus ice card. Not the fire, the ice is what I went with to get a bit more agility and dribbling on the ball for this card. The passing, we don't need so much. 79 is decent. You can put a chem style on, but the pace, the defending, the physicals are looking amazing. And the links into the center back, you can probably already guess who it is, is going to be great and necessary as well. Winter wildcard Collins is who I'm talking about, guys. What a card this is. 6-2 with the 90 agility and 84 balance is really what stands out. Obviously, the pace is there. That's amazing. But 84 balance on a 6-2 player, 90 agility. He's going to be quick with the transition speed in defending, getting, getting out to players and all that. The defensive stats are great as well. Defensive awareness being at 80 is what makes this guy's price a little bit lower because it's around 70k because people think that lets him down. But I promise you, it does not. The physicals as well, very cracked. 81 stamina with the 93 strength. I'm happy to recommend this card to you guys. And in the right center back position, another French lad from the Premier League to give links into Loris, Rafael Varane. We already know about this guy. I don't got to talk too much about him. He's like a Kimpembe. He's like a Marquinhos on that level. Still a gold card, but still very cracked and meta in the game. And for another winter wild card in the right back position, Nelson Semelu. What a card he is. Portuguese lad from the Wolves. Very overpowered with the four-star skills and three-star weak foot. He feels good on the ball going forward defending. And he's got the 94 stamina to last you all game when he goes up and down the sidelines. And to create a little triangle here of chemistry, the left center defensive mid position, Leon Goretzka. Informed Leon Goretzka to be exact. Cracked card. Pulit gang, all 80 pluses here on the card. 6-3. Body build actually 6-2, my bad. High medium with the four-star weak foot. Cracked card, and he's going to be playing the left center mid position in the formation that I'll get to you guys later on. Make sure to stay for that. But take a look at this card. The physicals, the defensive stats, the dribbling, passing, shooting, pace, all with the 6'2 body build, guys. You can't ask for anything more. And in the center mid position here, guys, just for chemistry purposes, he's not the center mid in game. He is actually the striker of the team, Winter Wild Card Morales. A cheeky card here to recommend you guys. Not a lot of people use him. He's got 91 pace and cracked shooting. That shooting that he has on his card right now is team of the season type of stats. 92 finishing, 90 shot power. 92 volleys, 92 attacking positioning with 88 long shots. The dribbling is cracked as well. 88 stamina to last your game and a cheeky 74 strength and decent passing. All in a 5'11", 4-star, 4-star, high medium player. And in the right CDM position to create another triangle of chemistry. On the other side, Bruno Fernandes. Yes, I said that correctly, Fernandes. 75 pace, a little bit on the lower end. So I recommend throwing a shadow or a hunter on him, whatever you like. He has the shooting, passing, and dribbling all to him. That still is very usable at this point in the game. And the 91 stamina to last them all game with a decent defensive stats on him. 72 awareness, defensive awareness, and 73 stand tackle. So he can defend if you need him to. Getting more into the attack now in the left wing position, headliners, Yana Carrasco. Another card that's very underrated and overlooked a lot in the game. I'm not sure why. He's very rapid with a 92 pace, great shooting stats, the passing is great as well, dribbling, cracked, and the physicals, cheeky 71 aggression and 66 strength, that is not too bad, if you throw a hawk on him, he should be fine, and the 87 stamina lasts you all game, 6-1 with 77 jumping is very great as well. And in the striker position, but not the striker of the team, just for chemistry purposes, Marco Llorente, what a card he still is, currently in the game of FIFA 22, he came into the game with his gold card, almost already in the hula game with all 80 plus stats on the card. But clearly a 70 defending, so he does not qualify. But still, a very cracked card. Last you all game with the 90 stamina, great physicals, and the pace. 88 pace in the midfield is more than enough. Good transition speed. He'll be all over the place, working, getting the job done offensively and defensively. And finally, in the right wing position, the cheap Neymar, Usmane Dembele, with the five star, five star. Of course, he's going to be in the squad. Good pace, good dribbling. The physicals not so much. So look out for that. Make sure to have a sub for him because I don't know what he does in training. Clearly, he does not do extra fitness. And he's always injured. That's probably why he has horrible stamina. The shooting, 83 shot power will make up for the finishing stat itself with the 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. So do not worry. He'll get the job done up top. All right, so let's take a look at the price for this squad currently. It's going to be 505k on the PlayStation and 477k on the Xbox. Now, keep in mind, Usmane and Morales will have 8 chem each after loyalty and with the manager. Everybody else will have 10 chem, so do not worry about that. Full team chem will be 100. So after you play 10 games, everybody will be on 10 chem. With the manager from France and La Liga, Morales and Usmani will be on 8 chem as well. So let's get into the formation and tactics 
then of course the game to see just how good this squad is let's go all right so this squad is going to be set in the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation formation as you see here defensive style set to balance 35 width 50 depth build a play and chance creation bolt set to balanced and the width set to 50 players in box set to five corners and free kick set to one by the way guys if you want a more in-depth tutorial on this formation and tactics check out my last video that i posted the 4122 narrow custom and tactics check it out maybe it's your play style and you like it let me know in the comments below if you enjoy it but let's keep moving so in game you're going to want morales and dembele up top Yana Carrasco in the center attacking mid position because he has the best passing out of the attackers. Marcos Llorente is a left center mid. Bruno Fernandes is a right center mid. Goretzka is sitting in that hole playing defensive mid. Just a monster, an anchor in the middle of the field and the back four as we had it. Now for the instructions, both strikers set to just stay forward only. Center attacking mid set to nothing, do not touch a thing. Left center mid and right center mid as well, do not touch a thing, keep them on cover wing. Center defensive mid, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking, cover center. Center backs do not touch, outside back, stay back while attacking and overlap. And the keeper, personal preference, up to you. Let's hop into the game. What we got? What we got? Barnett Vale, Laborde, Savanier, and Kunku, Kimpembe. Decent squad. Hold on. Good ball. Finish. Look at that, guys. The Atletico Madrid chemistry between Carrasco and... Fr what am I saying? Llorente. Hold on, Nico. It's a good ball. It's a good ball. Hit it. Oy, good save. Good, Collins. Well done, Veron. Can we break now? Look at this ball. For the goal, son. Bang. Give me that. Oh, Usmani Dembele. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's still cracked. In January. Play him in. Capitalize, brother. Usmani Dembele, guys. You pretty much have Neymar on your squad. Go ball in behind. Look at these runs, man. Sweat, Morales. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. The keepers in this game. Win it. Yes, Bruno. Play him in. Finish. Look at that, near post finish by Bruno. Still a usable card, I'm telling you guys. I would not recommend cards that are not usable. Good Goretzka, yo, he's a monster. Get out to him, Schultz. Yes, that's a read. Here we go, now we break. Look at the pace on Carrasco, bro. Look at the pace on this guy, and he's out of here. And he's out of here. Oh, there it is. So as you guys saw, this squad checks off every box that you need to have checked off any 500k budget squad builder has the keeper position the defensive line the midfield the attack of course was cracked we did concede a goal to tie the game up 1-1 but that was because of my poor defending i flicked the switch on and i was like no more goals conceding because this back line and the midfield should not let any goals go in guys you have monsters everywhere the defensive line absolutely cracked very meta the attack it has everything you need guys so i hope you guys got value from this video and enjoy the video if you have any recommendations for players that you think could be better in some certain position Leave in the comments below or join the Discord if you like, help with the community. We have a lot of people in there, you know, all talking, conversing, helping each other out. So join if you'd like. Link is in my channel or in the description below. Other than that, guys, take care.